This is Lady's mom, Janice Bender. How do you think the stem cell therapy and surgery have improved Lady's condition? Well, Lady improved beyond my expectations. Before the stem cell treatment and surgery, um, she was injured and she was very debilitated. She was in pain and it was very difficult for her to get herself up and to move around. Um, she became less and less mobile and I think she was sad. I used to have to use a special harness just to get her up and move her around. And it was painful for me to see her so frail. And then after the stem cell treatment and surgery, Lady just improved week by week and, and quite noticeably. Um, Lady went to underwater therapy twice a week and uh, I was amazed at how quickly and how comfortably she could walk. And uh, every week she could walk further and further. And she's up to about 20 minutes now and I think she could go further if she, you know, if we had the time to do so. Um, Lady also enjoys Mary entertaining her and she jumps up and down in the pool to try to splash all the water out and that's a sight to see. Uh, we followed Dr. Whalen's regimen which included acupuncture and chiropractic treatments. I knew these therapies would be of great value to Lady because she had been using some of her other muscle areas to help her get up and uh, help her move around and those areas got very stressed out. So I was, able, I was glad that Dr. Whalen addressed those uh, issues and was able to give her some treatment. She also had some cold laser therapy, which aided in the healing of some particular areas like her front elbows, because those were very stressed out from supporting a lot of her weight. Um, it, it still amazes me to think that ladies' own stem cells could be utilized to aid in getting her better. Um, and now only after a few short months, Lady is able to get up freely, she's able to walk wherever she wants, whenever she wants, um, and as frequently as she wants. She can roam around and sniff through the backyard, the big backyard that we have. She can play with the other dogs that we have and enjoy the whole family like she used to. And she can now get back up on the couch all by herself and get back up on the bed. And uh, she does it all by herself now. Um, so Lady got her life back. Um, she was made whole again. I think the investment we made with the stem cell therapy and surgery was worth every penny, and I would do it again. So thank you, Dr. Whalen and Mary and all the staff. You're welcome. There she is. And her little brother and sister. Lady will be having stem cells in a couple of weeks. She has, Lady, Lady. She uh, has severe arthritis in her hips and stifles. Good job. This is Lady Bender. Been doing acupuncture, chiropractic, and underwater treadmill for about two months now? Two and a half. Two and a half months. This is the lady. She's getting ready for her procedure this morning. Um, we already placed her IV catheter so that that way anesthesia can go smoothly and she can get fluids. Um, we did dress and blood work this morning and do a preoperative ECG. Everything is good and within normal limits, so we're going to getting her sedated very soon. This is Lady, and she's just getting some anesthetic here. She's been pre-medicated, so we can see she's pretty happy already. And she's here for stem cell therapy today. She's got very, very bad arthritis in both of her hips and, and um, some arthritis in her left knee as well. So the first part of the stem cell process is collecting the, um, uh, collecting the, the cells and the, the cells are found in, in fat tissue. So right now she's being intubated so we can give her anesthetic and oxygen. And then after this, we'll do a minor surgical procedure. Get her, um, get her fat cells, process those cells over a couple hours, and then inject the joints that need it, which are her hips and her, uh, and her left knee. 
So if your lady's uh, on the table and is getting the oxygen and the anesthetic, and you can hear the monitors in the background, we're just draping her here to get ready to make an incision and, um, and get, the, uh, get the fat sample. These blue drapes are just for um, sterility purposes to keep things sterile during the procedure. Here's her sample. Okay. So, lady, we're just suturing her skin closed here, and she'll be waking up shortly, um, and then in about two hours or so we'll go ahead and be able to uh, inject her joints once the stem cells have been processed. mixing up, but that does helps break down the fat to get the stem cells. Inside the specialized hood, she's going to be mixing that and then adding it into the two um, separate fat samples. This little bottle here is the enzyme that you use to break up the fat. Marianne's about to mix it. going to dispense the enzyme through a filter. Helps take away any of the debris. So our fat cells are actually done incubating. The enzyme has done a lot of work to break up the, those fat cells. And now we're going to put them in the centrifuge and spin them down.
So with lady, we got 47.4 million stem cells uh, out of the fat that we extracted. And we divided that into actually five injections, uh, one for each of the knees, uh, one for each of the hips, uh, and then one intravenous injection. With the, the rationale with the intravenous injection is that the stem cells will go to where the body needs them the most. Uh, at the, on the same day, she actually had uh, her left knee had surgery. We did a TTA on her left knee as well, so she had a, she had a full day that day. Lady wants to jump in the pool. This is Lady. Lady Bender. Okay, Lady. <laughs> She's in uh, water aerobics. <laughs> okay, Lady Girl.